Well, that's bright. There we go. Is that better? Uh, maybe. So this is an update on my um, Foveon journey. Um, if you've watched the channel huh, before, then you'll know I'm pretty much hooked on um, Sigma cameras and the Foveon sensor. Uh, when I say hooked, I mean I use other stuff as well, obviously, but um, it's something I've never completely turned my back on over all the years I've been doing, um, pretty much all the years I've been doing digital photography. Um, so just to recap very quickly, it started with DP, a DP1 many years ago, 2009. Um, that broke eventually, uh, not through misuse, just through the usual problems with those cameras where you switch it on, the lens extends, and the whole thing just stops at that point. Um, so I replaced that with another DP1, and that had the same end, that broke eventually. Um, then I decided to move to the Merrells and I got I bought a DP1 Merrell, which I still have, um, that's flaky. A DP2 Merrell, which I sold. DP3 Merrell, which I sold. Bought another DP3 Merrell because I um, realised I missed it. I then had an SD15, um, which is pretty similar to the sensor in the original DP1, I think. Um, and that was good, but I don't really get on with the DSLR thing, so that had to go. So, where that brings us to is the fact that I've ended up with a few SA mount lenses and no camera to put them on. Um, so I still have my DP1 Merrell and DP3 Merrell, um, but I thought maybe I should try the quattro thing um, because I think it's just a little bit different to the Merrill sensor and people say it's more accurate um, you know you've got to try these things so I thought I started looking at a at um, a DP2 quattro thinking maybe that was the way to go but then I thought if I've got these SA lenses what I should possibly do is try an SD Quattro instead. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I did, this, this, isn't, this isn't the first time I've actually handled an SD Quattro. I did look at them when we were in Japan and they have these big camera shops called Big Camera. Um, really good. Uh, they don't just do cameras actually, I think they do other tech stuff. But anyway, they, they have all the latest models and um, everything for you to look at um, you can pick them up you know try them out all that sort of stuff and I had a look at this an SD Quattro when we were in Japan and I thought ooh, that's too big um, never gonna get on with that it's much too big um, I've obviously changed my mind slightly on that um, because although this is you know there's no doubt this is big and it is bulky and if I take the lens off, you know, even then without the lens, it's a pretty strange old shaped thing. Um, so it's not really very conventional. Um, but it's not as heavy as you might think. I'll put the weight up on the screen. Um, it's kind of typically unconventional Sigma. It looks um, different. Um, it feels different to DSLRs and the like, generally. Um, I've only had it a couple of, oh no, I've had it a week or so, maybe at this point. Uh, so I've only had one or two trips out. I had a quick trip to Guildford. Um, managed to get one or two you know, shots there. Not um, 
wasn't brilliant weather weather wise it wasn't a brilliant day these cameras need good light i think generally um things i did notice were that just in the general handling that the evf isn't very good really i mean the rear screen's good and the rear screen's big and all that sort of stuff but i, I quite like using an evf so it's okay but it's not it's not great um I did notice, I, I also, I, I, one of the other things I did try out on this camera is this, it has this teal and orange um, film profile or colour profile. Um, it's got a lot more, this the, this camera has a lot more of that sort of thing than the mirrors that I've got or the SD15. So it's got more stuff in it and it does other things as well, which the other cameras I didn't do. Like it does do DNG um raw files um which some people say uh you know some people like it i'm steering i've tried it and i'm steering away from those because they're, they're huge files and i like the x3f stuff you can do in um sigma photo pro so i'm steering away from dng at the moment um, but it does have this this camera does have other things that the other sigma cameras don't have it is definitely kind of a, um you know progress progress has been made i think um one thing i do notice is if you if you use the evf which i've been tending to um you're always going to end up with a greasy mark on the on the rear screen which is a bit annoying but you know that's just because of the position of where the evf is on the camera um some cameras have it off to the side and you know that kind of uh, gets away from that problem I noticed this camera, I mean, it has a much bigger battery than my other Sigma cameras, the Merrells, for example, much bigger battery. And the battery life seems to be, you know, reasonable-ish. So, yeah, it's not like um, DSLR again. It is more in tune with other mirrorless type systems, but it's not too bad. And I've got a re I put a reasonably quick card in this and it writes to the card um, pretty well, pretty, pretty quick. So pleased with that. Um, yeah, so we also had a trip out to Alton. And again, I was struggling a little bit just to find, um, you know, just to find subject matter. But one thing I was quite impressed with was I picked up um, one of these mm, 10 to 20 Sigma EX lenses. Uh, I bought this for 50 pound. Um, some of the stuff with this, SA, because this is SA mount, some of the stuff is, if you're patient, um, you know, you can find bargains. So I've been trying this lens out, um, and I used this one in Alton and a little bit in Guildford. Um, and when I looked on the Sigma website around lens compatibility, it says that the, this 10 to 20, uh, the, the autofocus doesn't work very well. So you might want to manual focus and I have been manually focusing with it, but obviously when you've got it at the 10 mil end, if you step it, stop it down a bit, pretty much everything, you know, from right in front of your nose to infinity is going to be in focus. So that's not too much of a problem. And I found this SD Quattro does have good focus peaking capabilities as well. So that's, you know, that, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. So I've tried a couple of other, tried a couple of my other more legacy um, SA mount lenses, and even though some of them are really cheap lenses, um, I think they're holding up pretty well. Um, as long as you don't try to, you know, with the cheaper lenses, if you're trying to shoot them, if it's a zoomy type thing, and you're trying to shoot them wide open at the long end, you're going to be disappointed. But um, Generally, they can be used, and I think you can get good images from them. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited by this camera, and um, I'm hoping to have some, some good results that I'll share, um, yeah, as and when.